I don't even know why I'm laughing, but today is the day that the Lord has made. This video has been so highly requested and finally, I'm going to be spilling all my YouTube secrets. All the secrets that you guys want to know. Even the ones that are not so secret, I'll be spilling them. But guys, on a more serious note, this video has been highly requested and it's basically on how I make money on YouTube, how do YouTubers make money. I feel like if you really wanted to know all of the things that I'll probably be saying in this video, you took out the time, like, proper Google search, you'll actually figure out a lot of these things. But then, I feel like people tend to love it when actual YouTubers open their mouths to say them. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I hammer. <laughs> So, how do YouTubers make money? Guys, this is a very serious question. And a lot of you wanted me to do this video to answer this question. After I did the video talking about how my Nigerian parents didn't want me to do YouTube, you also see that with a lot of adults and a lot of people my age, you see people chatting shit on Twitter. Who still don't believe that influencers make money? They actually make more money than a lot of people with average jobs here in Nigeria. And I feel like the reason why a lot of people tend to look down on content creation, influencer work is that a lot of them don't think that it involves serious work. Honestly, if you don't think it involves serious work, I'm going to recommend that you try it. Try it for like three months and get back to me. Written document. Tell me how it went and tell me what you were able to average within that period of time. It is a lot of work and a lot of work that requires critical thinking. I'll get to all of that. But first of all, I'm going to break down to you guys the different ways that YouTubers and social media influencers make money. With this particular video, I'm going to be focusing more on YouTube and it's because that's where I do the most work and I tend to make the most, honestly. And then outside of that, I feel like I don't think that I need to do an entire video on Instagram. Like there are videos talking about how you can make money off of Instagram. But then again, most of the money you make on Instagram are through brand deals and sponsored posts. YouTube, as far as I know right now, is the only platform, social media platform that allows creators and people who use the application to actually monetize within the application, within the platform itself. So outside of brand deals, just the same like brand deals you, you'd get on Instagram, you still get that on YouTube. But then outside of that is the fact that you make money via AdSense here. So first, one of the main like primary ways that YouTubers make money is via AdSense. AdSense allows creators, YouTubers, to earn a share of the money from the adverts that you see here on YouTube. So you see the little banners that you see beside videos, you see the videos that play before a video actually plays, the ones that you can skip and then the ones that you cannot skip. Brands tend to pay a lot more for the unskippable ones because you're forced to watch those ones till the end before the video starts playing. So AdSense allows creators to earn a share of the money from those ads. So basically how it works is that brands approach Google and then they pay them to be able to place this as just the way TV works, just the way Billboard works. However, because you, you're a platform with a lot of followers, if you sign up as a YouTube partner, what happens is you give YouTube the right to place ads on your channel. So you give YouTube the right to reach people through you. So because you're doing that, you're entitled to some of the money that they are paid for those ads. So basically, the more people YouTube is able to reach, through you when it comes to this ads, the more they pay you. When it comes to AdSense and monetization, guys, I see people get confused sometimes. People think the more subscribers you have, the more you make on YouTube. I know people who have like hundreds and thousands of subscribers, but then I know that there are smaller channels that are making a lot more than they are. When it comes to earning on YouTube and AdSense, it is more about the views. The more people YouTube is able to reach through you, the more you earn. So you can have millions of subscribers here on YouTube, but if a smaller channel is racking up more views on a monthly basis than you, that channel is definitely making more money than you. It is most definitely making more money. So when it comes to AdSense, it is more about views than it is anything. However, I know that there is something called CPM. CPM is cost per mile. So basically, the bigger your channel is, the bigger it is, the more it has grown, the healthier it is, the higher your CPM. So the CPM for like a very small channel could be what, maybe $4. However, for a channel that is really big, it could be as high as $12, if not more. So basically you guys can even maybe average the same amount of views on a monthly basis, but because the CPM of the person with a bigger channel is higher, then that person will probably make more on a monthly basis 
via AdSense. Around the time that I signed up for AdSense, like it was really straightforward, but last year YouTube changed things up. So right now to qualify for AdSense, you have to have at least 4,000 hours watched on your channel. You have to have at least 1,000 subscribers. You should not be posting anything offensive, be it in the thumbnail, be it in the video itself. The video will not be monetized or you will not be qualified if that is all you upload on your channel. Lastly, you should not be using anything like, like a lot of copyright material, honestly. I made this mistake at the beginning and I was using a lot of Nigerian music, a lot of foreign music in my videos and what happens is you get a copyright strike and in extreme cases, the person who filed the claim can have the video taken down. But then in most cases, what happens is the video is just demonetized on your end. And it's not like the video is no longer making money. The video is making money, but the money does not come to you. The money goes straight to the person who has filed a copyright claim okay and just like every other job AdSense pays creators monthly last time i checked if you've not made up to hundred dollars in a month youtube is not going to pay you you have to have at least made up to hundred dollars a month via adsense for youtube to pay you in Nigeria here, if you're wondering, okay, if you're signed up to AdSense or if you're trying to sign up, how do you receive payments? Guys, the money goes straight to your account. Around the time that I started, YouTube money didn't even go straight into your account. You get it via like a check that you take to the bank and the bank cashes it out, like a foreign check and all of that. But now it's a lot easier. So you just have to provide your bank account details on your AdSense account and the money just goes straight into that account on a monthly basis. Just goes straight into that account. And YouTube pays creators in dollars. In Nigeria, share dollars. I know that depending on where you live, maybe if you live in Europe, in euros, if you live in the UK, in pounds, I don't really know if it comes in different currencies, but I know that my YouTube money always and has always come in dollars. So YouTube pays creators in dollars. Okay, so the second way that YouTubers make money is through brand deals. And that's how a lot of people also make money on Instagram. But it's basically when brands approach you and pay for product placement. So they just pay you to talk about their products in your videos or just pay you to highlight the products and, you know, feature the products in your videos. It depends on what capacity, how long they want you to do this. If you're struggling to figure out how much you should be charging brands when it comes to brand placements, I'd highly recommend you choose Social Blue book that's what a lot of influencers i know use but then there are actually websites dedicated to this so they run an analysis on your channel and they tell you based on your reach and the amount of views and all of that that you have this is how much you should be charging brands for product placement and that's really where the money is most people who i know who have made big money on youtube influencer work period it's through product placements that is where the money is the money is not even compared to adsense money because in some cases it requires just a lot of work just thought out things for people who do creative work comedy skits it requires you come up with something from scratch creatively even if it's not just comedy skits if you're creating tutorials around somebody's product or just highlighting these products my dear brands need to be paying you for that amount of work and this is not telling you to come here and lie to anybody you don't have to lie i most of the times with brands that i have worked with if your product is not gelling. If you're telling me eyeshadow is pigmented, I'm touching it is powder. Yeah, I'm not touching that. I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want anything I recommend here to come and bite me in the ass. The product has to be of a certain quality before I can push it to people or I can recommend it to my subscribers. I know that things can be hard, but then don't use because of that and go lie to people. I just feel like as long as you're doing this work and you're good at it and you're consistent and you keep racking up views, more people are going to come. People who don't require you to talk from script, people who don't require you to lie to your subscribers. Another way that you can make money off of YouTube is through affiliate links. They're not that big here in Nigeria and I don't even do affiliates when it comes to a lot of Nigerian brands. And I'll tell you guys why shortly. So affiliate is also a very good way that I make money, a lot of YouTubers make money as well, influencers period. And it's basically when you sign up with a brand and you know, they provide you with products, just send you constant PR and then you push at your own discretion. Nobody's asking you to do anything, but if there are products you like from the brand, recommend them. And if these brands go and buy these products that you've recommended using a link that they give you, because the link helps the brand track, or if they give you a code and your subscribers enter your code at checkout, you're going to get a percentage of the money from whatever they've bought, which is good. You know, there is no flat out fee. 
in situations like this but then it's an incentive for you to just push what you like from the brand because some people will listen and they will go by and then it's the way that subscribers also look forward to when it comes to supporting creators that they love because they know that okay i'm buying this because Dima recommended it and i want to buy it with her link or use her code so that she gets something in return for just recommending this to so many people you know so that's one way just know that not all codes are affiliate codes i have codes that i have come on here and i shared with you guys and i'm like use this code and these are codes that brands can just give if you've collaborated with them but then i do have some affiliate codes so check the description box for my own affiliate codes one that i can tell you guys that i know that i plug into videos all the time is sigma i have an affiliate code with sigma if you use the code Dimma at checkout you're going to get some money off your order so imagine somebody with millions of subscribers and then the video gets 1 million views and then maybe what 1000 people even go and buy stuff using the person's code the person does stand to make a good amount especially if the percentage that the brand is offering is high for their affiliate the reason why i told you guys that i don't do affiliate when it comes to a lot of nigerian brands is that it's not even just nigerian brands i don't do affiliate anymore with brands that don't allow for tracking i need to be able to track how my link is doing how my code is doing brands like sigma milani they give you you know you have access to impact reduce you're able to sign into your account and just see how well your code is performing or how well your link is performing see i've had situations where brands will come and tell you oh just use the do this we're going to give you a code blah 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 guys some of them are not truthful at all i've had situations where people even send me pictures send me screenshots tell me that they've used it so you have about four or five people telling you that they use the code and the brand is only telling you that two people used your code if you cannot track how your code is performing if you cannot track how your link is performing please i'd highly like i'll not recommend that you sign up to anything like that okay so that's it just basically this is another way that youtubers make money affiliate links and codes but please don't sign up for affiliate when you're not given the option to track the performance of your code or link because i've seen brands extort creators like doing this okay? they'll give you a code tell you blah 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 you make money and then at the end of the day they tell you that nobody used it and sometimes you have proof that people actually use this so be very careful another way that youtubers make money is through merch so merch is basically merchandise merchandise is very very different from like brand collaborations i'll get to that but it's basically i've seen a lot of youtubers do this i even see chizuduru doing it chizuduru always says you can't talk to me anyhow recently she came out with her own brand of t-shirts that says you can't talk to me anyhow on them so i've seen youtubers do this in different capacities i've seen people put you know whatever it is they say on their channel nikki tutorials did it at a point whatever it is they say on their channel or maybe like a picture of them on t-shirts on mugs on cats on different things and then just put it up for sale and then you can just support them by buying these things if i did merch will you guys buy huh if i put my face on t-shirts will people buy please let me know thanks but this is also a way to make money and this is the way that a lot of youtubers tend to make money as well so when it comes to merch you know the more time consuming option would be to go and find a factory yourself and try to pick designs and do the bulk of the work yourself that you probably make sale but i feel like it will require a lot of your time and if you're someone that is in a place in your life where you're not able to like just split your attention between your channel and all that things that can be a bit tricky there are websites that are actually dedicated to creating merch for youtubers you go on there and you, you just buy merch to support your favorite youtuber when it comes to adsense brand deals affiliates I have made money through these options I haven't done merch yet so I haven't made any money via this option but I'm working towards it and another option is brand collaborations and then the thing about collabs is that most of the time they come finding you you don't go looking for them because the big brand collab just like what Jackie has now with ABH it is like you always like they come to people who are of a certain like following you know you've you've garnered a huge amount of following and then whether you like it or not a lot of subscribers are actually customers in waiting so brands just tap into this and they collaborate with these people you know and then the creators and the youtubers make money from every single palette or every single product that is sold from that collab and that can total to shitloads of money like money that a lot of people cannot even dream of 
a lot of money. Jackie has had some really good ones, Too Faced, Artist Couture, and she has had one, or she, or she has one now with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I remember when I was doing my master's, you go into Super Drug, there were a lot of Zoella products everywhere. So, you know, Desi and Katie, Jackie, Shayla with Colourpop. So, these are perfect examples of brand deals, okay? There are situations where the influencer or YouTuber is actually not that big might not be on the Jackie, Shayla, Desi and Katie level, but still they've done very successful collabs. But then I'll just highly recommend, please be very, very careful if you get into this type of arrangement with people, with any type of brand, especially if it's a new brand that you've never heard of, who just wants to use you at the beginning, start out with a collaboration with you. Be very, very careful. Make sure you read the contract carefully, cross all your T's. The next way that influencers make money is by events okay and appearances and you know stuff like that and maybe writing for newspapers or magazines events these are more mainstream ways that mainstream celebrities also make money sometimes but a lot of like youtubers also make money like this meet and greets you charge for meet and greet a certain amount of money to come it's an event you host it you can also do master classes teaching something in your niche. It could be video editing, it could be makeup tutorials. That's a good way to make money as well. So meet and greet, appearance, writing for or contributing in newspapers, magazines. These are good ways that YouTubers make money. This is a good way to make money. I know that I have made money from appearances. So, you know, brands pay me a certain amount of money to come for their events. I have made money like that and I still make money like that. And sometimes it could be small things. It could even be like a makeup fair. And then if you a brand start talking about how a certain influencer will be at their stand at the makeup fair, best believe that influencer has been paid for their time. But the good thing about it is that it also helps the brand because people come to these stands looking for these people, but then they end up making money. So I know that some of you are wondering, okay, Dima, all these things you're saying, like how much do people actually make on YouTube? How much? Like do people actually make serious money off of YouTube? Guys, I know YouTubers who can buy seven houses if they wanted to. I even know YouTubers that I feel like at this point in their lives, they can actually afford not to work again. And if they are careful, they can live out the rest of their lives without doing any work again. That's how much money they've made from YouTube. So, first of all, I'm just, I feel like I have to go over some basics. Your content has to be valuable if you're trying to grow. Growth is like just next to earnings when it comes to just YouTube social media work. You know, if you're growing, if you're gathering more views, if you're reaching more people, then you stand to earn more from AdSense. But then outside of that, brands are attracted to your channel and they believe that if they pay you to do work for them that they're going to get something in return so guys you have to put out valuable content you have to be consistent you also have to put effort into quality i have actually even seen brands that they are not even like that interested in numbers you know there are certain brands that are high-end and they are all about the kind of people they tie themselves to so your content has to be clean your pictures videos have to be clean quality crisp everything and they will come to you for the longest time it was so difficult for me to talk about money i have repented from my sins like i have woken up really because when you have responsibilities rent food fall to put in your car guys you have to learn and then the bigger you get then maybe you can begin to seek management i have not been lucky when it comes to management i'm not signed under any management right now and the truth is that from my personal experience a lot of people here are used to managing like nollywood people and it's completely different what brands require from like actresses and maybe tv people when it comes to ambassadorships and deals are so completely different from what they um like require from creators and a lot of the times some of the managers i see they don't really know how to work that balance and you also have to be very very careful that i've seen people who have signed up to management that literally turn away a lot of good work from them and then tomorrow if you part ways with that management brands who you actually to actually make serious money from they don't consider you as an option anymore because of how your previous management treated them so be very careful please a lot of black creators or creators of color in diaspora will talk about or you will learn of how sometimes they have budget for white people but then they don't have budget for black creators people who like you're even bigger than when it comes to following 
you know, these brands will pay their white counterparts and tell them that they don't have a budget and try to convince them to do work for free. However, they will pay the white people. It's even worse here. A lot of international brands come down here and they don't want to pay Africans. So they can even be paying black people wherever they've come from, but they come here and they automatically don't have a budget. Guys, learn to stand up for yourself. When I moved to Lagos and started doing this full time, you know, and I started asking like, you know, if you want me to do work, I'll be like, no, you have to pay me. People went around saying all kinds of things about me. The two videos that I have done here calling out international brands, guys, there are PR people that I know as of today blacklisted me. So basically what happens is the brand might not even have anything to do with whatever incident or whatever it, th it is that has like i refused to do for them in the past but they will effectively they'll make sure that they block you from working with any other person they represent it happens like that sometimes when i first came you know i'll ask i'll be like no you have to pay me people were saying all kinds of things oh she's all about money oh yeah da, da, da. i'm like yes i'm doing work so i have to be paid and i saw other people who wouldn't like put their feet down and they'll keep doing things for them for free I'm just happy that where I'm at right now, I know that it, a lot of people know not to disturb me if you're not going to be paying me for my time or my work. What I am doing requires a lot of, it takes a lot of time. It requires a lot of work and I'm not going to be doing anything for anybody for free. And what I've also learned is that, you know, so you see PR people who will come to you and say, oh, please do this for free for us. When we have a budget, we'll come back. When they have a budget, they're not going to come and meet you. They will go meet people who they think are worth the money. So the more you keep putting value to your time and work, the more, like, people start respecting it. If you keep doing things for free, people will only think about you when they want free work. I'm sure that a lot of you are probably wondering, Dima, how much do you actually earn? So I'm not going to be saying, like, amounts like that because I have signed NDAs in the past and there are things you just don't go around saying. But I'm going to give you guys a rough idea. The lowest that I have ever made on YouTube a month ever since I started monetizing was $100. And the highest that I've ever made is $3,000 a month. This is from AdSense alone. So this is minus any other type of work that you might end up doing for brands during this period of time. I highly recommend though that if you're a creator, you have to go register yourself as a business. Don't just sit down and not take what you're doing as a business. You have to register yourself unless you have a full-time job and you're just doing this on the side, but still go register yourself as a business. That's the highest that I've made because I just want to be really like frank upfront with you guys the bad thing however is that youtube pay is very unreliable it is tied closely to your work guys best believe that your earnings are tied to a lot of things sometimes you can actually even be putting videos out consistently for one month and if the videos didn't get that much views you don't you don't earn that much you know you don't earn up to that so just bear in mind that it is very very unreliable the pay you don't make a fixed amount every month the month that i earned like the highest amount i mentioned that was a very very good month and every month is not a very very good month okay but to give you guys an idea if you're averaging about 350 to 400 thousand views a month on youtube you should be making nothing less than one thousand dollars a month i don't know any creator who i have talked to who garners about 350 to 400k views a month that makes anything less than $1,000 on YouTube alone, okay? This is minus everything else. If you think that the money that I have mentioned is too much, I don't think it is because God knows I deserve more, okay? Go try YouTube or influencer work for just three months and get back to me. Go try it and try to average 50,000 views per video and come back and tell us how it goes. It is a lot of back breaking literally the way you bend over a table work okay with youtube and a lot of social media work it's a lot of work that goes into making things look very organic making things look at the end of the day like very easy so a lot of people come and watch and they think oh it's easy for me to grow like you can't it's very difficult i'm not saying you can't but it is very difficult and you have to put in a lot of work creators are so many things for themselves photographers videographers editors managers negotiators everything for yourself you know, and then you have rent to pay, you have bills to pay. Like there are so many things that leave that money that at the beginning you might be, oh, this person is making this much. But then again, the money also goes into a lot of different things. So I'm going to end this video by just saying a few things. One, it is a lot of work. And if you plan to make serious money off of this, like make a living off of it, you have to be prepared to put in the work. Okay. Like every other type of work, it has its pitfalls. 
the pay can be unreliable so it takes a lot of work a lot of thinking just to keep your average view stable so that at least you're guaranteed a reasonable amount every month two it involves a lot of abuse and hate and that can affect creators mentally a lot so before you say things to people you know just think that for you to come criticizing a video, this person has put in so much work into it. This does not mean that you cannot give constructive criticism, but you don't go around hating people or abusing people, okay? And just saying hateful things. You shouldn't. There are good months and there are bad months. There are months where you can put in so much work, but then your videos just for that month might not just do well. And one thing again that I want to encourage people, if you're subscribed to anybody or you're watching anybody, please watch the ads that play before their videos if you can it's a way to support these people watch the ads if you watch the ads you know just watch it because if you watch an ad from beginning to end then the creator stands the chances that they will earn money from that ad are very high and also lastly for creators who are looking to just start monetizing and making a living off of social media, especially YouTube, know that the algorithm is constantly changing, even on Instagram. So you have to constantly keep researching so that you don't get left out. I've seen people who have a lot of followers who used to be very big back in the day. I've seen people who just maybe, you know, things happen and their videos stop doing well. But a lot of the times when I see people complaining, saying, oh, YouTube has changed. Yeah, YouTube has changed. The algorithm has changed. And just like every other thing that people consume that comes with trends and whatnot, people move from one type of content to the other. And most of the time, it is viewers that dictate what does well on YouTube. It's not the creators. So if there are trends and there are things that you see other people doing and it's going great for them when it comes to views try to hop onto that it will help you okay so yes that is it as a youtuber as a creator if you've grown and if you keep growing you can make up to one million naira a month on your channel doing youtube you can I, I didn't say you will i said you can so i hope you guys enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you in my next one Mwah.